Jens Voigt was never the most talented cyclist in the Tour de France. But there was something special about him. There's a reason he had such a big fan following. He was the hard man of the peloton, is what he was called. And his motto was, shut up legs. That's what he would tell himself when rides got hard. He was famous for being willing to suffer pain. All endurance athletes have to deal with discomfort. But there's something to the idea that some are willing to suffer more than others and dig a little deeper. So it was really appropriate that Voigt decided at the end of his career to tackle the one hour record. This is probably the most painful record in cycling. Basically, you go on a velodrome, you cycle for one hour on one bike with one gear. Uh, there's no tactics, nothing going on except pain. And the physiology of, of riding for an hour is unique and it's just between two thresholds, the, the, your critical power and your lactate threshold. That basically means it's the longest possible time you can sustain a high intensity painful effort. And sure enough, Voigt, even though he was in his 40s, at the very end of his career, he was able to, to cycle 51.11 kilometers in one hour, which was almost a mile farther than the previous record. So the question is, was Jens Voigt really a great cyclist because he could suffer more than anyone else? It turns out that there actually is some evidence that pain and performance are linked, that people who are able to suffer a little more are able to dig deeper and get more out of their bodies. And learning to do that is something that we can all do. The hard truth is that sometimes endurance hurts. And even the greatest athletes feel pain just like the rest of us. The difference is that they're able to endure that pain for longer. Over the course of years of grueling workouts, they've developed psychological strategies to cope with discomfort. They distract themselves. They reframe pain as emotionally neutral information rather than an alarm signal. To push the limits of your endurance, you need to get comfortable being uncomfortable.